I'm trying to roll them on out for y'all, okay? This book is a, uh, this is a Donna Rose. This is, this is a part of occult books, okay? One thing I'm going to say about occult books. Don't be so quick to write them off. Because like I said, it's something to learn from everybody. Okay, but, but what you got to remember is when the dark workers are putting their information out, they got to put out how to protect themselves too because they got to they gotta put their people on too on how to protect themselves. So why not use what they use to protect yourself? I'm not saying you got to do everything, but it do help to look in their playbook and see. You know, even though I'm a light worker, I still like to look into them and be like, what am I up against? How they operate? What are they doing? What? Okay. Now, this book is really thin. It's like, it might be like 20, 30 pages front and back print. Okay. Um. Yeah, probably like 20, 20 pages front and back print. This is Unhexing and Jinx Removing by Donna Rose. It's not anything like harmful. This is strictly protection. Some of the stuff in here is a little extreme. I'm not uh, I'm not going to say do everything. Uh, for a person, I, you know how sometimes people can make spirituality like kind of difficult. That's my whole motto over here is to keep it simple. This book is kind of like stepping into that difficult, you know what I'm saying? Because they create altars. And she gives you like diagrams of how to place the candles and I don't do all that. I don't do all that. But what I did find helpful in this book was the section that she put in here talking about herbs, oil, incense, powders, floor washes, and salts. That part I did find, find good. And it was like maybe three pages, three to five pages on that. But she uh, puts in here like how to charge your candles, lighting your candles. Then she gives you uh, different candle burners for protection. She lists the materials that you'll need and the procedures. Uh, her materials mostly consist of like candles, oil, incense, salt, and different types of waters and stuff. She has rituals and um, rituals for unjinxing or unhexing your home or business. So it's not just like for yourself, but your home and business also cleansing uh evil rituals for removing evil spirits but i'm gonna get to the part that i did like about the book which is the herbs oils and stuff now she goes over different herbs that you can use to combat like evil energy black magic stuff like that the bay leaves like she said you can place several around your home as a protection against black witchcraft okay uh, blood root, clover, dill. Like with the dill, she said you can mix with some salt water and scatter it around your house to break up negative uh, magic. Elm bark, uh, holy herb, lucky hand root, mistletoe, mint, um, what, poke fruit, pearl moss, trumpet weed. So, and it's not giving you like uh, recipes or anything. It's just telling you what the root is good for and how to use it. So I thought that was really helpful. And on the oils, again, these are not recipes. She's just going over different oils that you can use for protection and how to use them. Like the unhexing oil to get rid of evil spirits, anoint your temples and your body. And you can add it to your bath and anoint the frames and doors. Uh, anoint the frames of your doors and windows. Baby, if y'all find my doors, that oil is already tripping. I mean, it's tripping down. Because I use holy oil, period, anyway. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a plug in right now, okay? Y'all can shop our website. I do carry holy oil. Okay. And I do have a hex removing oil that you can use in your bath. Simple. All you got to do is bathe with it. And you're good to go. I would say with that bath, you can use it like every three months. Every, that's my lucky number. Like three. That's what I go out three. That's my rule in this group. Three. 
333. Um, yeah, with the my hex removing oil, the one that you can bathe with. You just bathe with it and you good to go. If you go to the website, um, or I might put a uh, um, screen on each side or whatever side to let you know. Like, if you see this, just put in your email and you'll be notified when we launch and when we're releasing new products. Okay, so I just had to pull it myself in. Okay, back to the book review. <laughs> so, the different oils that she tell you, um, of course, holy oil, which you should already have it anyway. I keep that on deck, okay? I don't have nothing, no other kind of oil. I know I need to keep that holy oil. Um, uh, all spice juju, seven African powers, wormwood, rue, <laughs> that five finger grass. Okay, she have a little section that go over incense. Uh, she number them and then she tell you how to combine them to make it, make it more powerful. Because sometimes you can just buy one incense, but sometimes if you buy them like four or a certain combination of certain ones, you know, that, mm, that, that kick it on up a little bit. So, she got a Jinx Removing, the Uncrossing, Unhexing, Bible, Holy, Angel, Domination, Confusion, Lilac, Satan, Be Gone, Temple, and Frankincense. Him, I use the Him, and we also sell the Him um, Incense, too, on the website. But she tells you like certain combinations that you can use to, you know, make it more powerful, whatever. She gives you the powders. They're the same as the incense. The same names. So that's a short little section. She go over washes and sauce. It's not a big one. It's just like that. And then uh, the next one is seals. That's one point to it because y'all might not can understand me with the retainers. <laughs> use seals but you know if that's your thing then this book is free but i don't i don't use seals i don't yeah we keep it simple i don't know so you got the magic square of the sun tells me right there she tell you how to do that and she have different seals like she got the seal of solomon uh Sixth pinnacle of Mars, the fourth pinnacle of Moon. Then she got the table of astral colors, like your zodiac sign stuff like that. She took go over what colors are good to use against, you know, the jinx removing or whatever. But like I always say, if you got a white candle, white is universal. It's good for everything. So I always stay uh, keeping a white candle on deck. Okay. I got them 14 day uh, yellow, not yellow, 14 day uh, white candles. They take care of the business. She got over different gems. I don't really work with crystals. Like, I don't, um, but if that's your thing, I'm not going to get, you know. The flowers, the day, the month, the, uh -uh. Whenever we need something done, we're going to do it right then and there, okay? So, yeah, I try not to keep this too long. But, yes, if you find, you know, you found this helpful or you think, like, it might be useful, I'm not giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I think it was, like, under $10. But it wasn't. Mm -mm. I wouldn't. You know, but I review them for y'all because I don't want y'all wasting y'all money on these books, okay? Um, but yeah, it was like under ten dollars. But if you want to purchase it, the Amazon link will be below. So, yeah, until next time, stay blessed and highly favored.